It's moving day. It's gonna be really hot today and all of the people that I was gonna have helped me move are gone or busy. They canceled on me last minute. So, I mean, I get it, life happens. Um, yeah, I hope that the apartment complex has a dolly. So my plan is to kind of load up my car um, and then I'm gonna go up, try to get the keys and then hopefully unload um but this is what we have so far and this is just none of the furniture or um hanging clothes or clothes that are in drawers so that's everything except for i mean i'll show you so i already took two things um so pretty much this is all that's left in the bathroom i know it looks really messy right now but um like the drawers are all empty under there it's all empty um i need to take care of moving that stuff that's gonna be last here's the bedroom it's all naked um and the closet is a disaster zone but i'm throwing away one of the duffels and the shelves are pretty pretty empty um yeah, so it's just me loading the car. I just feel very daunted right now. I just feel like this is like a huge task and even when you're like, I don't even know where to start. That's kind of how I feel. So I'm gonna start loading the car. So we got some bad news. I don't know, okay. That sounded way more dramatic than it really is. Um, the lady who is basically like, the move-in girl um called alex and said that somehow um like this is a really good company when it comes to apartments and they you know um thoroughly wash the apartments in between every use and somebody did not get the carpets cleaned so they're getting the carpets cleaned right now, but you have to let it dry. So we can't really move in until five o'clock. Um, I'm probably gonna head over at four and try to pick up the keys and maybe ask if I can like peek my head in or something. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna continue packing up the car. Um, basically, I'm just gonna do what I can because that's, all that I can do and I'm gonna run down to the garbage and you know put our sheets and stuff in there and throw away the old um, air conditioning unit and just get some stuff done around here I might actually go to the store really fast and pick up um, a new plunger for um yeah i might go pick up a new plunger so that might happen um i'm gonna finish filling this and i kind of was trying to assess and i think i can put in like one more duffel bag um and so yeah i'm just gonna go to ross and try to find a plunger i don't really want to go too far i have a bunch of crap in my car so yes that's what's happening it sucks but what can you do I just can't like sit here all day and wait for them to do something just do something I have all this time on my hands I just made some green juice um, out of all of the leftover fruit that we had um, I'm really going to try to get back to being like I said, my goal has always been to be a raw vegan, and that is my goal, and I will attain it eventually. Um, but I do think eating fruit in the natural state is the best way to eat it, like a whole piece of fruit. Um, but when fruit goes bad, instead of letting it go to waste, like right before it gets to that point where you're like, I really need to throw this out. If I don't eat it today, 
then I um, put it in the juicer and I make a juice out of it. And that way I feel like I'm not wasting it. Um, we're trying to figure out what to do with the pulp though. I have heard people make like crackers out of it or wraps, but you never know. So right now I'm kind of just trying to finish up packing everything, getting everything out of here. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And, um, I'm trying to find my cell phone. Oh, there it is. It's charging. Smart Kelsey. Um, but yes, I am going to go to Ross and look at more throw pillows and buy a new plunger and a new brush because that's what's important to me. And yes, that's all that's been happening. I juiced, I conquered and I was like, I need to wash it anyways, because I like to put it in the dishwasher, um, the components of the juicer like once a month, just so that I'm not juicing like dust and stuff. So that's what's happening. Hi, today, just, I mean, I, it looks, I pretty much look like A, I either have a shopping addiction or B, I live out of my car right now. Um, Cause as you can see, I was in the middle of packing up my car and then I guess they called my husband and told him that they needed, I, I told you guys this, but they needed to wash the carpets. And, and they said, you can't move in until, it would be best if you didn't move in until five just to give the carpets a chance to dry. So that's great. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this before, I'm going to just start driving and talking. The steering wheel's really hot. Oh yeah, also it's freaking hot today. That's another thing. Oh my gosh, my car feels so heavy right now. Okay, so um, when I move, there are certain things, I don't think I've mentioned this. I'm going to feel really stupid if I have. Um, there are certain things that I just feel like I have to, oh, I'm like burning my hands right now. Um, there are certain things that I just have to buy new every single time I move into a new place. A, because I'm kind of a germy phobe. I'm not like a really hardcore one. My mom's a hardcore germaphobe. I'm more the person like I'll share drinks with people. I'll do, um, you know, I'll do that kind of thing. I always have hand sanitizer though, <laughs> but, um, like moving a plunger and a toilet brush to like a new clean apartment just doesn't make sense to me no matter how long I have lived in that apartment. Like this apartment, well this room that we're living, that we're living, I'm living in right now, we've only lived in for four months. But just like moving that, the idea of moving, I don't know. Um, Another thing is like bath mats, kitchen mats. Uh, we've had the same bathroom mat and that's because we got one for our wedding. Like we have a really good like right out of the shower mat. It's like one of those um, memory foam ones and we got it for our wedding. It's like a $35 like bath mat. So we've kept that over the progress of the years. Um, but I need to get a new kitchen mat and so those are, so today, right now, I was like, you know what? I need to get out of the house. Um, it's too hot. I was gonna go for a walk, but it's way too, way too hot for that right now. Um, so I'm going to go to Ross and I'm gonna look at rugs, toilet plungers, kitchen mats, um, and Browse. Parking garage. My car is too big for. The little kid was just like, what is she doing? And I'm like, I'm just singing a Broadway song in my car. <laughs> That's what I look like. I look like I'm moving to like New York or LA to become an actress. You know, like those um, 
people when, right when they graduate high school, they just have like these dreams and these aspirations to move to LA or New York. They bring everything they own with them and they're like, I'm gonna make it big. That's what I feel like I am right now. Which I am all for dreams. Dreaming, I feel like, is very healthy. Okay, there's people everywhere. People, people, people. People, people, people. People are looking at my car like, girl, you have a hoarding problem. Am I gonna have to go around again? Jesus. This is a Thursday at two o'clock in the afternoon. What? the hell are all these people doing here? Like, come on. Come on. Don't you got better things to do? Okay. Oh, yeah, I see my spot. I see it. If this walker person would just... Ugh, my car's so big. Straight. Perfect. Tip of the day, do not buy a big car for your little 